Today I'm gonna create a racing game from scratch using Unreal Engine 4. I've just created a new project, and the very first thing we need is a car. For now we are gonna use this cuboid to approximate car's shape, but we will definitely change it later. Now this is our car, but commonly cars are able to move, so let's enable physics to make it fall at least. Also cars definitely do have wheels, and now our car have wheels too. They are not quite useful, but we can make him to be so. It requires to implement some kind of suspension, and I am quite lucky that I didn't skip physics in high school. Now we have pretty cool car, and the next challenge is to make it move finally. Actually, all I need to do is to add a force to a car pole, and suspension will take care of preventing a car from falling. This is great, but wheels should spin, shouldn't they? Well, they actually do spin, but it's not really how wheels should work. After a couple of tries, I have managed to fix the problem. I've added balls to our car, so it will be easier to see the spin direction. Also now we have a car with balls, which is pretty savage. Anyway, now it works pretty nice, and it is time for steering behavior. As I said, I am really lucky that I didn't skip physics in high school. Now we can control our car. It feels like it more kind of glides currently, but I will adjust a bit physics settings and all should be fine. I have also applied wood material to a car mesh. Now it looks like a garbage, but it's just temporary. I will use the car model later. By the way, forward wheels are now rotating to a torn direction. Actually, I'm a big fan of flat-out racing games. All those explosions and demolition derby is pretty sick. I don't have destruction in my game, but I wanna add some weapons. Why? Well, as you may have noticed, I like adding weapons to everything. Anyway, now we can launch homing missiles. And our car is pretty happy with it. Okay, I did some coding and now the rockets are flying in a car's forward direction. But what if we make a friend for our car? Or should I say an enemy? Now missiles should hit another car and unfortunately something went really wrong. I have fixed it and now it works quite well, even if there are no enemies in front of the player. But homing missiles is definitely not enough. I want to add some kind of grenade launcher. So here it is, and it works fine, except, well, couple of bugs. I fix them and make projectiles explode when they hit something. Moreover, cars are now reacting to grenade hit. We can even make some combo with the weapons, so that's cool. Well, I think it's just the right time to add an AI to the game. For now, I'm just gonna add a simple artificial intelligence that just moves in a circle. But it's more like artificial dumbass at the moment. I'm kind of fixed it, and now we have a good dummy we can smash. So let's just add some more AI players. Okay, that was pretty fun, but let's add damage system to the game. Every car should have health and nitro bars. Now our cars will receive damage from weapons. If a car's health is below some value, a smoke will appear. And what about nitro bar? Well, we'll set up it in a second, but now I wanna get rid of these trash car models, finally. So here is our new car models. They look pretty good, except... yeah. Anyway, after a while I've managed to cure them. Now it works pretty fine, and there are some more cool models. But it is too quiet here, so I've decided to add car's engine sound, and it feels much more better now. I can use my weapons, but AI is not able to. It's unfair. Let's learn an AI how to use weapons. I'm gonna use behavior trees and environment query system. Here is a visual representation of what an AI can see. There are several spheres which should overlap other cars. And if they do, an AI will shoot. It's pretty simple. Nothing bad can happen, right? Well, it's kind of work though. Actually, they're still quite stupid because they like shoot themselves in the foot. Literally. After some debugging, I found out the problem. A projectile's collision box was just overlapping with a shooter. Now it works as intended. I also remembered that we have nitro bar, but it's useless at the moment. Well, now it is not. It looks boring though. We need to bring some post-process and camera shake to the table. I also wanted to move the camera a bit away from the car. 
while using Nitro. Guess this way a player will really feel the speed. Now we have Nitro and AI have not. I've added Nitro activation with a cooldown to AI's behavior tree, so they will use it every 30 seconds or so. Another thing I wanted to add was bonuses. So there is a grenade bonus that refreshes amount of available grenades. There is also similar bonus for rockets. Also we have bonus that gives us a bit of Nitro points. Oh, and also bonuses can be respawned from time to time. One of the last things I wanted to add was some kind of cars interaction, so now cars actually will be able to bump into each other. That's pretty savage. Now I wanna create a cool map for the game. I've started with a large landscape with a big mountain in the center. Then I have decided that it will be an island, so I've added an ocean. After that, I've added a road and set up some kind of background. Firstly, I thought that I wanna make some kind of desert with suns and stuff, but I've changed my mind and now it's some kind of grassland with mountain and large trees. Finally, I've added some post-process effects, so now it looks really beautiful. I will definitely set up lighting later, but it's fine for now. We have a large map with some kind of circle rod, but it's not a circle actually. Here is the map from the player's point of view. Anyway, I just set up a track for an AI using Conrail's spline system. So AI is fully functional on a new map. But unfortunately, I found out that car's interaction is not really works as intended. So I've changed it a bit and now bumping is possible only if car's forward vector subtraction is greater than 1. Yeah, some big brain stuff. To make the game feels better, I've decided to add a music. And as I mentioned, I'm a big fan of flat out games. Accordingly, I added some flat out like music to the game. You may have also noticed that FPS is kinda low, and it's actually not because the game is that bad. Well, it is, but I was dumb enough to record my screen in 30 FPS, while the game was running at stable 60. So I'm sorry for this, what is done is done. Anyway, the game is really missing a main menu. Actually, none of my games have main menu. <laughs> this is my first one. And I'd say it's looking pretty cool. And if we press play button, race map will be opened. Recently, I've added a bunch of car models to the game, and different cars have different speed, acceleration, and other stats, like health or nitro points. Let's make it possible for player to choose which car he wants. So I've implemented a simple car selection screen. The idea was to drop current car from the sky, and if a player presses next button, current car will be thrown away. It took me a couple of tries to implement. And I would say this is the sickest car selection screen I have seen in my life. The one last thing our game needs to be a perfect racing game is some kind of indication of player's current position in a race. I've decided to make special triggers for that purpose. When a player collision box overlaps with a trigger, it calculates current player position in a race, depends on how many cars already have passed this specific trigger. After a quick test, I moved on to a next feature, countdown before a race start. It works pretty fine except some strange bug in the main menu. I have fixed it and now I guess we are ready to go. So let's just play the game.
Well, I finished second, but I'm pretty happy with it. If you guys wanna try out the game, I will probably upload it on my each IO. I didn't build it yet, so it's not yet available, but I definitely will in the near future. Anyway, you can find the link in the description. Guess that's about it, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and if you did subscribe for more content. Also I have a Twitter account where you can find some videos inside, so you could follow me here if you want. Anyway, you guys are awesome. So thank you again and see you in the next video.